Hey everyone, I'm Ian. This is another off-seasons video for Lone Star Drift. This is Ian Bain. Say hello, Ian. Hey, everyone. All right. So he's got his E46 here today. We came to his house so we could see it. We could see his drones and everything that makes him tick. Uh, he's an interesting person. He designs circuit boards for a living. So he's obviously super into electrical stuff and engineering. He loves drones and neat stuff like that. He used to be in photography and video stuff. And obviously, he's super into drifting in cars. So the reason I want to talk to him is because he's going to be one of our drivers in the Texas Street Legal Series. So I drove this E46 at the last event. It was at the Texas Street Legal opener that we had November 1st and 2nd, I think. And the car was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I was completely blown away with how well it drifted. Now, it's not going to drift at 100 miles an hour on super big courses that are accelerating and everything. But for the smaller parking lot events, it was really good. And it really surprised me. For how cheap the car is and how simple it is, the car is absolutely amazing. It has a huge steering angle, super buttery smooth engine that looks like it's gonna be super reliable, has just the right amount of power to make the car exciting. It probably runs on like 225s or something. 225s or 235s. Yeah, so it's on small tires that are pretty cheap. Uh, they probably last all day with the setup and everything. Oh yeah. So it's inexpensive to run, which can be a big deal when you're going through a V8 car and you're going through 10 tires plus a day. Um, that's a really big deal. But mostly the car is just fantastic. And then there's a bunch of little cool details that a lot of people don't realize. Like we keep showing all these tablet setups in cars because they're all the rage now. Because you don't need you know all these expensive gauges in your car. You can get away with like a $50 Android tablet. But what's hilarious is, is people don't realize you can do that on just a normal stock OBD2 port. And he has one on a completely normal stock OBD2 port. So he's running all of his gauges, just like all the cool kids with the fancy standalones off a tablet. Do uh, you want to tell us a tiny bit about that? Is it as simple as it sounds as just plugging in an OBD2 it is, reader? It is absolutely as simple as it sounds. And moreover, it's really cheap. Uh, go on Amazon or eBay, search ELM327 on there. You'll find a ton of OBD2 Bluetooth readers. They're like 15 bucks shipped. But Aaron, you say? This car's missing interior pieces. How can it run a Texas street legal? This car epitomizes Texas street legal. This car is so damn stock. Besides the fact it's missing some interior pieces, I am absolutely gonna let this thing run. We'll ballast it up with the passenger, but this car absolutely is gonna be Texas street legal. Reliable as hell, super fun to drive, won't go through tires, and Ian is gonna have a blast in this thing. What do you think, drone? I agree. All right, so you're going to drive in the Texas Street Legal Series this year. You already went to our Japan trip with us last year. We're going to go again this year coming up in November. Uh, not saying you're going to win or anything, but is it in any way factoring into you going and doing the Texas Street Legal Series, going to Japan, or no? You just want to do the series? It's both. Uh, I was ready to do the series actually before the Japan trip was announced, but that was just icing on the cake. Cause so... You have really restrained yourself in how much you spend on cars sometimes. The BMW cost you how much? I've got less than $4,000 in the car. How do you control yourself so you're not just buying turbo kits and all kinds of crap? Are you financially restrained by money itself or by willpower? A little bit of both. Uh, I look at my budget. I look at what it's going to get me, if it's actually going to add something meaningful to the car and how it's going to impact reliability and my ability to budget the rest of the season. Are you going to do all the events in the Texas Street Legal Series next year? I'm going, I'm going to try to do all of the events in the Texas Street Legal Series. Uh, budget and, uh, well, 